Here are my first thoughts on this $20 smart ring I bought from Timu. I really like the idea of tracking my health, but I just don't want to wear an Apple watch. I think they look stupid on me and it seems quite bulky. But to wear a ring that does everything, and like when that goes off in the night, I think I look really cool. But this thing tracks like steps, distance of different activities, your sleep, blood, blood oxygen levels, and your heart rate. And since I'm married, I wear a ring anyway. Oh, and this is my journey to be able to run 10 miles until it's just like fun to run. We're a long way off. All right, first thing, I think I brought a size too big. I normally wear a silicon wedding band. So the feeling of something hard between my fingers with erectile dysfunction, that's not something I'm used to. Gosh. Initial thought is I'm really excited about wearing it, but it didn't capture my sleep last night. Not sure what happened. Ah, oh, the wife and kids are up. I normally try and be back from the gym and running before they're up, but I got up later this morning because they did not have a good sleep last night. Which I'd show you if the bloody ring tracked it. I do love running in the rain though. Look at the size of that trunk. That's a thick boy. You wanna get some size idea? I'm 5'11". I don't even come close. Now I've seen a couple of different brands have these like Ultra Human, Aura, and they're like $300. But I do see that Samsung are coming out with one. And there's talks that Apple will do one in the future. Would I buy an Apple one? Yes. But the Samsung one sounds interesting and that's meant to come out second half of this year. So I'd love to try that. All right, that's two miles in. I'm gonna head back and help out with the kiddos. I do wanna do a sleep series of like trying to get the best sleep. And I'd really like to track the like blood pressure and whatnot doing different activities. So I'll do a review at one week, to see what we think. Later boys. That was far worse than I expected. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Made it. Gotta give the dogs a quick wash. I know what you're thinking, Oliver. Why would you be wearing white socks? On it, because that's the only socks I have. This is my sock brand. And it would be stupid of me to wear anything else other than that. All right, also, there's been applesauce on my car for the last, like, three months from my kid, from Ruger. He likes to eat applesauce off of cars, you know? And I've never gotten around to washing it off, so here we are. Rest should wash off in the rain. When I turn around, you're going to see how bloody stupid I look, but I honestly don't really have many other options. Uh, my shirt is soaked, obviously, from that run. And I'm trying to work out, at the moment, how to use rosemary oil properly. I thought you put it in, leave it for a little bit, and then shower it out. But, but Shay's telling me that's not right. Hello, what you doing? You better not get... Oh, Ruby, you shouldn't be up there, should you? Can you get down, please? Ouch. Yeah. yeah. All right, Rugs, we're trying to figure out how to use, how to use rosemary hair oil scalp. All right, it looks like we just apply it Leave it in for one to three hours, two to three times a week. So pretty simple. Call it ADHD, call it neurodivergent, call it your aunt's arthritis. I really struggle with having so much on my mind that I really think I can accomplish, but just have no chance. So let's talk through, walk through what I do. <laughs> so fancy. I'm listing out all the things that I want to accomplish today. Okay, short break. I haven't quite abided by this. I've got to add one more, just one sec. Yeah, hold on, Mr. Woogies. Let me add this. Running TikTok. That is gonna be, I guess it comes in as well. Oh yeah, can you put that down, please? This, see, I haven't quite even, I haven't even abided by this. So, done. I also went on to edit that. I'm about to go and use the rosemary oil on my hair. I've got a visitor. So we're gonna play on the bouncy house. Also, a bouncy house, I think it was like $150. One of the best purchases. If you have the space and you have a young kid, you want to go play on the bouncy house? Oh, the big ball? Yeah. I actually asked Ruggie to wait a minute so I could put the stuff through my hair. So the clip you'll see now is me doing my hair and then bouncy house, which we'll record now. If you haven't been following the TikTok, I've been going no poo for like 365 days. 
We've already established this in the videos. But now it's getting like a, a just dry scalp, which at first I thought was dandruff, but it's apparently just dry skin. So someone said to make rosemary oil, which we did yesterday. And now I'm just gonna try and apply it. So this is an oil applicator. The little balls at the bottom allow oil to pass through. And I've been told to go just straight to the roots, and just slide along. Then like massage it in. But I have no idea how much to do and I'm kind of in a rush to finish work and hang out with the boys. There's a lot coming out. Bloody hell, it's really dry. That is even drier than I expected. Just gonna go with a lot. That might be far too much. Getting some paper towel just in case. In case of what? I'm not really sure. Oh, so you gotta push the top while you roll. Oh yeah, that feels like a too much. <laughs> I was told to space it evenly, but I don't really know what that means. I've used quite a lot already. God, my hair's so thick. So if I just kind of comb it first. That's part of the fun of doing this, these things though, is that like you get it wrong and who cares? This is me spacing it evenly. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's coming out, but so much is coming out. And I feel like I'm gonna to get to the end and my hair is gonna be super oily. I was expecting this to be a hell of a lot easier. What am I doing? All of this just to not use shampoo. <laughs> One of the wild things about going no poo is that because your hair is like naturally holds in the oils, when you brush through your hair, you see lots of hairs come out because they've like, they're holding it, natural oils are holding it in. So then I'm just like gently massaging the roots. If you buy an applicator, don't buy this one. It's not easy to use. Oh, bloody hell. I think I've used way too much. It feels super greasy. I don't know if it looks really greasy, but it feels like I need to towel dry it but I'm doing my massaging, just like I was told. Look at all the hair that's come out. Nasty. All right, now I have to leave this in for one to three hours and I'll come back. I feel like I need to wash it out already. Just looking at the mirror, you can see so much of the white dry scalp. Oh, that's gross. My dumbass just realized that I can't use shampoo to wash this out. So I looked up alternatives and eggs is one of them. So I'm doing that again. Oh. Oh.